The next exam question is basically testing your knowledge on these two areas here of the revision guide where they're talking about the advantages and disadvantages of commercial cloning and the process of tissue cultural cloning. What are the steps involved basically? So let's go through the exam question and uh, begin. So the question reads, Harry grows apple trees. He has grown his apple trees from seeds. His trees are not genetically identical. Describe one advantage of Harry's apple trees not being genetically identical. So for one mark, they're basically asking you what is the advantage of growing trees from seeds? Basically, in reverse, you can say, what is the disadvantage of cloning? So if you zoom in, the advantage is basically um, Harry's trees will not be susceptible to disease or sensitive to any environmental conditions. Or you can say they will not suffer from the reduction in genetic variation and therefore will not suffer from the reduction in the potential for further selective breeding. So you can just kind of playing with the words. So the point is, if you learn the material, be aware that the wording of the question can be worded in such a way so that it's asking you the information indirectly. So the disadvantages of cloning is like the advantages of growing the seeds naturally from seeds. So whilst we're here, we must go through what the advantages and disadvantages are. So the advantages are the cloned plants will be genetically identical to the parent, so all the characteristics will be known. And it is possible to mass produce plants that may be difficult to grow from seeds. And the final thing to go to, of course, here, this is a hot topic. Um, it hasn't been asked that many times in the history of all the exam questions for this current syllabus, so it makes it more likely for them to ask it when you sit the exams, where it says cloned plants can be produced by the following method. Step one, select the parent plant with desired characteristics. Then step two, which is actually made up of many steps, scrape off a lot of small pieces of tissue into beakers containing nutrients and hormones. Make sure that this process is done aseptically without the presence of bacteria to avoid the new plants rotting. And finally, lots of genetically identical plantlets will then grow. These can also be cloned. So the next question asks, Harry's friend Ed grows cauliflower plants by tissue culture. The new cauliflower plants are genetically identical. Describe how to grow new cauliflower plants by tissue culture. So for three marks, you're basically asked to describe what are the steps involved in tissue culture. So as we've just seen, to get to three marks, actually, you don't need to write all of this. You only need to write the first two steps where you select the parent plant with the desired characteristics. That's one mark. Then you scrape off a lot of small pieces. That's actually another mark of tissue into beakers containing nutrients and hormones. That's a third mark, nutrients and hormones. And make sure that this process is done aseptically. That's a fourth mark to avoid the new plants rotting. So there's actually quite a lot of points here, even though you're just memorizing two steps. But these two steps are very important to remember. So please do so. And for the final exam question for the biology section of unit one, it reads, potato plants grow from potatoes. Nick puts a potato in the ground. It grows into a potato plant. This is an example of cloning. Describe one advantage and one disadvantage of producing potato plants by cloning. So for two marks, one mark for the advantage, one mark for the disadvantage, they're basically asking you to recall what we've already seen, which is here, the advantages of cloning of plants. And you can mention either one of these two where the clone plants will be genetically identical to the parent, so all the characteristics will be known, or it is possible to mass produce plants that may be difficult to grow from seeds. And as for the disadvantages, you write any one of these two. So if we go back to the exam question, two marks just like that and the questions then continue to read plants can also be cloned by tissue culture one of the processes involved in tissue culture is selecting the plant with the correct characteristics write about two other processes involved in tissue culture so for two marks this time it's only for two marks the previous question was for three marks but nonetheless they're examining the same part of the syllabus you just need to recall these two steps where you select the parent plant with desired characteristics and then you scrape off a lot of small pieces of tissue into beakers containing nutrients and hormones. Make sure that this process is done aseptically to avoid the new plants rotting. And that will get you the full two marks. So four marks in, well, two minutes, not even that. And this last one is just a little small revision on the selective breeding uh, section of the book. New varieties of potato can be produced using selective breeding. Look at the statements about selective breeding. Put ticks in the boxes to show if each statement is true or false. So basically, does selective breeding reduce variation? Yes, it is, because you are choosing your desired characteristics from each generation. Therefore, that's true. And does it increase the rate of mutation? No, it doesn't, because it's actually less variation. So therefore, this will be false.